Hi everybody, how's it going today? I'm uh, working at spreading some solid manure here today. Got our got our manure spreader hooked up to our 942 there. We've got our uh, 914 cat here with the grapple bucket on it. We've been uh, I started spreading here yesterday afternoon. I've been going today in the afternoon. We have uh, quite the pile here to try and spread. We have uh, quite a bit uh, gone already. There was a custom crew here a couple days ago and they were hauling manure out with uh, trucks or spreaders on the back of trucks. They were hauling to one of our uh, neighbor's fields that was a little bit drier than some of ours. Uh, I'm in the payloader here now. We'll get this load loaded then we'll head out to the field. I'll show you guys uh, what we're dealing with for moisture out there. It's uh, a lot of uh, driving around low areas and uh, I don't think it's going to get much better than it is now. in the tractor here I'm, uh, spreading on a field that's uh, about a half mile north of the dairy here so it's not too far of a drive so we've got some uh, some good days here ahead about five days or so of, of nice weather chance of rain at the end of the weekend it looks like but uh, sounds like the liquid manure pumping crew going to be here tomorrow or in the next couple days hopefully they can uh, get started right away and the neighbor of ours uh, plants our corn uh, I think I might have mentioned that he thought he'd be uh, at our place around the end of the week as well so there was uh, a couple of our fields that we put manure on in the fall so those will be whenever he gets here they'll be ready to go depending on the weather of course but the, the fields that we're going to put manure on, I'm sure once we get manure on, it's going to take a few more days for it to dry out again enough for us to get out there and uh, plant those fields. So I'm sure that's going to be next week by the time we get to those. But we'll just have to see how the week goes. I'd like to get as much solid manure spread as we can, or I'd like to get, get all of it spread, but it doesn't really look like that's going to happen once... Uh, we'll keep going until... Uh, our neighbor is uh, close to coming this way with this corn planter and then we'll have to unhook this manure spreader and go to tillage. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just keep the solid manure piled up until the fall or we'll see if there's anywhere we can spread it this summer. Some of any of our neighbor's fields but I'm not, uh, not too concerned about that. Uh, more concerned about getting the corn planted here in time rather than getting all of our solid manure spread. We do have to wait to spread the liquid manure because we we need the, the fertilizer from the liquid manure for the corn so definitely do have to wait for that just pulling into the field here turn on the pto so that bottom number there that's the rpms of the pto So I 
open the gate, turn the chain on, make sure that's running the right way. So normally I would uh, spread uh, and do a half mile around and then uh, spread a certain distance apart and so that I know that I'm covering about three acres with one load. Uh, I don't know if you guys can quite see it down there. There's water down there in a low area. It goes uh, just about all the way across the field. And there's a low area with water up there by the trees. So it's, uh, it's pretty typical for us to have uh, water in some of those low spots in the spring, depending on how wet the spring was, how much snow we had for runoff, and how much rain we have in the spring. There's, uh, there's quite a few of those uh, spots here this spring. Last year there was none. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to go around all of them. There's, uh, I know you guys are going to say, Pete, you should be draining those so you can... Uh, farm through them but it's a little more complicated than that uh, some of them we can drain but some of them are considered wetlands and we're uh, we're allowed to drain up to them or we're allowed to prevent them from getting any bigger but we're not really allowed to uh, drain them so we just have to farm around them in the spring but a lot of times they'll dry out by uh, the middle of June or end of June we'll come in and uh, either plant corn if it's not too late we'll come in with a if, uh, if our neighbor still has a corn plant or herbed up I'll have him come do it but we do have a smaller three point uh, mounted planter ourselves that we can hook up and fill in those spots and if it gets into July and we're able to get in quite a few of those spots we'll plant a cover crop in there and Harvest it if we can, or we'll just uh, leave it in there so something other than weeds grows in there. The bad thing about those uh, spots, especially uh, the ones that we have on our farm, the majority of them will dry up over the summer. Most summers, all of them will. And the, yeah, the bad thing is they'll they'll uh, just fill in with weeds if there's no corn growing there. So it, it's uh, yeah, not not ideal for us, but. Uh, regulation we have to deal with I guess it is what it is well uh, yeah we'll, we'll go around them now and last year they were like I said they were dry but we had a super dry spring and a really dry year so that's not really good either if we're able to farm through all of them uh, early in the spring that typically means that we're pretty dry
field. Uh, tomorrow one of our guys will be running this uh, tractor manure spreader. I'd like to, if I have time, I'd like to get the drone up so you guys can uh, really get a better look at uh, how wet it is on our fields, how much water there is out there. It's going to be a busy week, uh, solid manure spreading, liquid manure spreading, maybe some corn planting by the end of the week if uh, things go good. We'll uh, try to film as much as I can, but uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be busy for me as well. My mom and dad are in uh, the Netherlands. So uh, my dad has two aunts and uncles that um, got married on the same day and it's uh, both of their uh, 50th uh, wedding anniversary. So my mom and dad went back for a week, uh, go to the party, uh, see both my grandmas again. So it's gonna be, uh, yeah, I'll try to do as much filming as I can, but it'll be uh, a little bit crazy around here, I think. I think this will be it for this video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Now hopefully we'll uh, see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.